Hello. Welcome to this lesson of our study of vectors and mechanics. So in this lesson, you'll go through the unit vector in the direction of a given vector. Okay. All right. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe for more videos and also support the channel. Okay. Okay. So given a vector, let's say a, which is given as a a equals x i plus y j plus z k. Then the unit vector in the direction of A is given by 1 over the magnitude of A bar or A times the same A. Okay. So one thing that you should always know is that after you are done finding your unit vector, make sure that the magnitude of your unit vector is always 1. Okay. The magnitude is supposed to be always 1. When it is 1 like that, then you see that your vector is now a unit vector. If you remember in our introduction to vectors and mechanics, we mentioned that the unit vector has a magnitude of 1, okay? Alright, so you can also prove this. Go ahead and go through this and prove it that the magnitude of this is indeed 1, okay? But let's take an example and see. Alright, so find the unit vector in the direction of the vector A, which is given as that, okay? So now I have, you are saying that the unit vector A cap is always given as 1 over the magnitude of A times A, okay? So what we need is the magnitude of A bar because we know A already. A is this. So and that is given as the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared, okay? Plus 1 squared, okay? And that will give me the square root of 14 if I'm right, okay? And this means that the unit vector in the direction of this is 1 over the magnitude of that, which is the square root of 14 times 2i plus 3j plus k. Or you can also go ahead and multiply through and you say that a cap is equal to 2 over the square root of 14i, okay, plus 3 over the square root of 14j plus 1 over the square root of 14k. Alright, so in some books, they rationalize the set. So you can also point this on a calculator and you see that this can also be again be simplified as 1 over 7 square root of 14i. Okay, I'm rationalizing the denominator plus 3 over 14 square root of 14 j plus root of 14 over 14 let me put it that way or 1 over 14 that okay so you can do it like this any way you want to put it you are right okay but mo most mostly most examiners leave their answers in the last one so always know how to rationalize this okay I hope you get it now. Okay, so find the vector in the direction of the vector A, which is equal to I minus 2J, okay? Um, I think the question is not that complete, so let's continue. That has, okay, the question is supposed to be this. That has a magnitude, okay? So let me erase this one. That has a magnitude okay magnitude of seven units okay so this is the actual question given all right so how do we solve it now the uh, there's a question is you're supposed to solve for a vector in this direction okay in the direction of this vector a which is equal to i minus 2j that is a by is given as that's i minus 2j you're supposed to find a vector in this same direction as this, which has a magnitude of 7 units. Okay, so we use the idea of unit vectors to solve this. Automatically, you know that the unit vector always has a magnitude of what? So the magnitude of A cap is always equal to what? 1. Okay. And if you remember in our previous lesson, the video we just, or the lesson we just finished before this, you could see that we said if you have lambda A, okay, and you want to find the magnitude is the same as magnitude of lambda 
time magnitude of a okay so the magnitude here is supposed to be seven units okay so what can we do so that we can get a vector in the seven unit form okay what we can also do simply is that we have to find a mag the unit vector in the direction of this okay which will give us a magnitude of one and that if you multiply seven to it you will always get seven units okay the magnitude will always be seven units so what you have to do is you have to find a cap which is the same as one over magnitude of a bar times a bar and this is equal to one over the magnitude of a bar is square root of one squared plus negative two squared okay times and that is um a is giving us i minus 2j okay the whole of this will give me 1 over square root of 5 times i minus 2j and the same as 1 over root 5 i minus 2 over root 5 j okay and we know that this a cap here has a magnitude of 1 we can try it and see it has a magnitude of 1 okay so what we can do is that we know that from the previous one that I said we know that any scalar multiple of let's say a okay magnitude of this is the same as that okay and one will make sure that the magnitude of a certain vector in this same direction is 7 okay so it means that if I pick 7 units and I multiply it by a cup what will be the magnitude of this it's the same as magnitude of 7 times magnitude of a cup and which is the same as 7 times magnitude of a cup we say is 1 so you give me 7 units it means that the vector which is in the direction of a and a was given as i minus 2j okay let me write it well for you i minus 2j so the vector which is in the direction of a which is a is i minus 2j like i've said here and has a magnitude of seven units is equal to let co let's call that vector let's say vector p okay and that vector p is equal to seven times the unit vector in the direction of a because that's the only vector in that direction that can give us seven units. so it's the same as seven square root of five i minus seven times two and that is 14 over square root of five j i hope you get it now we've done scalar multiple of vectors so you, you understand how i just went through by the multiplication but i wanted to show you how to find a vector with a specific unit in a, di a specific direction i hope you get it i'm trying to say that i wanted to show you how to find a vector with a specific magnitude okay in a certain vector direction okay i hope you, you can solve this type of question when you meet them anywhere okay so this is a question i have for you here you're supposed to try this question on your own find the margin or the unit sorry find the unit vector you're supposed to find the unit vector in the direction of the sum of the vectors a and b okay so we have both a and b here i'm supposed to find the unit vector in the direction of their sum okay if you do it correctly this is the answer you're supposed to get either this or this form anyhow you want to put it or you can go ahead and rationalize okay so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos so that you can also support the channel as well all right see you next time